Let's see some more transactions which are not regarded as transfer. Transfer of shares in amalgamating company by a shareholder. Okay. Now we saw earlier that you know whenever two company merge A and B let's say when A goes and merges into B, B is going to issue shares to the shareholders of A. Right? Shares to shareholders of A. Now what happens is in this case the shareholder of A who is already holding shares in company A, these shares in company A become useless. Why? Because the company A ceases to exist. What happens is he gets shares in company B. Right? So effectively if you see there is an exchange of shares of company A with company B. And we know that exchange is a transfer which thereby means that this uh, transfer should be liable to capital gains tax. Right? But in this case there is a specific exemption that such an exchange will not be construed as a transfer which is this provision. Transfer of shares in amalgamating company which is A by a shareholder in scheme of amalgamation if consideration is allotment of shares in the amalgamated company. So if the amalgamated company instead of issuing shares pays cash then this exemption is not applicable. Amalgamated company is an Indian company so this company B has to be an Indian company. In that case there will be no capital gains tax in the hands of shareholder of A. Right? Let's see the second one. Transfer of bonds or global depository receipts as per section 115 AC. What I mean here by 115 AC is that these GDRs as they are called are referred to in section 115 AC or bonds or shares of a public sector company purchased in foreign currency outside India by a non-resident to another non-resident. So let's say there are two non-resident NR1 and NR2. NR1 purchased some GDRs bonds or shares as are mentioned here in foreign currency. So if you are purchasing it in if you are not purchasing it in foreign currency then this is not applicable. Okay and he sells these shares outside India to another non-resident right then the capital gains which arise on such a transfer are not liable to tax in India right